Yeah, it's it's our guys are enjoying it. I think at the moment, you know, they they work extremely hard, and and anytime you're acknowledged for the hard work, I think that's that's a really good thing. It's a positive thing for our program and the growth. Um, I think the expectations are really high in the locker room, so I don't know that it matters. I don't think they've got to live up to anything. I think we've got a really high standard when it comes to that and high expectations. So we're excited. Last year we were preseason 10th out of 13. Uh, so I think our guys understand that, that that doesn't mean a whole lot uh, either which way. So we'll, we'll have a new team that jumps on the field. and We've got a lot of returners, um, but we've also got some new pieces that, that we feel like we're going to add a little bit to it as well. Those returners, I remember talking to you last year and you saying that this season now was one you're super excited about because you're going to have some of those veterans coming back. Just what kind of comfort is that for you having some, some vets that were key pieces last year and you kind of can just pencil them in for, uh, for this season? Yeah, so this is, this is year four. A lot of these guys we recruited, you know, two, three, four years ago now. Uh, and you're, you're right. They've, they've all matured within our program at this point. You know, last year we played, we had 24 freshmen, sophomores. Majority of those guys are sophomores and juniors now. So uh, the, ex the, the, the experience factor certainly matters. Just the, the comfort of showing up in August. They know what to expect. They went through September. Uh, we've got a lot of mature guys. We've got a lot of great leadership. Uh, we've got some guys that have been in that clubhouse. You know, Colton Eager and Zach Smith have been there since we've been here. So uh, they're just there's not as much new, uh, and there's probably more their voice in the locker room, in our team room, than maybe the coaching staff's voice, which I think that always helps in terms of just the translation from coach to player and, and player to leader. Uh, it's it's kind of where we're evolving now. So uh, it's been great to have so many familiar faces back, and uh, they'll have to – they've got a lot of – Positive. The majority of them have a lot of positive pull from from last spring, uh, with you know what the experience they put together there. So, you know, on paper it looks it looks great. You know, I mean we're we're excited about it. There's we're still a growing program. We're still there's a lot of things that we want to accomplish here. Um, but when you've got some returning key figures, um, that certainly makes it a little bit more comfortable rolling into it. You mentioned not as much new within the roster, but something that seems new, at least from the outside, is the conference. But like we were talking about with softball, you know, you're playing Sam, you're playing a lot of these Lamar, a lot of the schools you've yeah. already been playing. Does it feel any different for you now in the WAC, or is it still the same? No, there's a different vibe to it. There's a lot more excitement around it. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the day where it's a full crossover. We get to, to, to get on a plane and go play Grand Canyon. There's a lot of really good baseball teams, Sacramento State, New Mexico State, Cal Baptist. Utah. I mean, there's, you can name them uh, on the other side. I, I think our side's going to be extremely strong, too. You know, you've got a lot of tradition with Sam. Um, you know, Lamar Tarleton's growing. Uh, when you look at what Stephen F is, is going to be able to do as well, and then Rio Grande Valley will be a new new opponent for us. So, uh, our guys know that each weekend it's going to be a really good brand of baseball. You know, I think Southland, WAC. Um, you know, if you look on paper, RPI wise, the Southland year in year out was between 11 and 13, which is a really strong league. Uh, we're jumping into basically the same thing now. So, uh, our guys know there's going to be some good arms each weekend. There's going to be dynamic offenses each weekend. Um, we feel like we're in the conversation with those as well, but we're going to have to go out and prove it. You know how baseball is. You know, the best team doesn't always win. It's just the team that plays the best on that day. So, um, you know, we're excited about it. There certainly is a different vibe, though. You know, I think with, with the opportunity to go play in, in, in Mesa and the conference tournament, um, hopefully we can take care of business to make it there. And um, I think our guys are excited about that opportunity there. All right. So this is probably going to be really cheesy. Mm -hmm. But do you have a motto or saying that you're living by this season? I don't know that we do mottos. Um, you know, we, we've got some values that we really try to entrench in our guys. You know, our, our core beliefs are going to be humility, energy, and toughness. You know, I think I, I would like to think if you asked our guys, you know, who we want to be as a team, um, those are three things that they would talk about. You know, so um, I think this group embodies that. We've got a lot of guys that have been here a while that, that look to serve. You know, the longer we're the longer guys are here, we expect more out of them, right? Um, we've got some guys that are extremely tough in the locker room. They're, they're battle tested. They've played, uh, they've won, but they've also had some some losses as well and and grown from those. And then, um, you know, when you look at just the energy piece of it, that's that's huge. I think in collegiate athletics, you know, energy equals momentum, and um, I think. Each day is a new day. You know, we, we've, we've got a really good group of guys that bounce around and, and provide that spark. And um, I think that's a huge 
reason there's been some success and growth here. So uh, I don't know if we've got a motto. Um, you know, you'll, you'll hear the, the, the slogan ATO around here, which is Abilene to Omaha. For us, that's a mindset on, on understand that's where we want to go. This is where we are, and we've got to keep climbing and, and figure out a way to get there. So, um, yeah, I guess that maybe lays it out a little bit for you, maybe. <laughs> Um, you know, next next Friday is your home opener. Mm -hmm. uh, this week, what is practice going to look like for you guys? Sure, you have one more week still. Yeah, this is a heavy week in college baseball, so I think, you know, we, we're literally going to scrimmage Tuesday through. Now, today's our off day. Monday's traditionally our off day. Um, but we'll scrimmage roughly every day through Sunday this week. We've got 20 healthy pitchers right now, uh, so we're in a really good spot compared to where we were at this point last spring. Uh, so we're really excited about that, and, and, and there's some roles that still need to be figured out in that regard. Um, that'll allow our guys to get some more at-bats as we go into. You know, we really missed a lot of defense last week with the weather here, um, but fortunately we'll, we've got a good forecast this week. So we'll jump on the field and, and try to get as many reps in as we can, um, close the week out on Sunday, and then that'll kind of go into our game prep week on Monday next week. So uh, North Dakota State, they're going to be a really good team. They played in a regional last year. Um, they're going to come down here expecting to win. Uh, Michigan State will be the same the next weekend. So, so even though they're from the north, uh, I think traditionally rich baseball schools, um, we're excited about welcoming them here to Abilene. So hopefully we can have a good crowd here as, as, as basketball continues to push forward, and softball gets cranked up, and, and baseball goes. And I, we're asking a lot of the community in that regard. But, uh, man, we'd love to see a lot of people out at Crutcher Scott. And I think we've got a good, exciting brand, um, and we're looking forward to – to, to having more community involvement as we play a, what we feel like is an extremely healthy schedule this spring. Um, so you guys are playing um, TCU and Texas Tech mm -hmm. uh, later on this season. Then we're preseason ranked top 25. So what is it going to be like to play those teams? And how do you think that will prepare the team heading into conference play? Yeah, so that's who we want to be, right? Like that, that's – we're going to – the more we're in those arenas, the more we play teams like that, that – that have been there before, right? I mean, that, that's where we want our program to get to. So, you know, last year we had a weekend series at Texas. We've been a TCU. We won a game at College Station last year. So um, that's why the guys come to play here. You know, we're going to play an extremely challenging, healthy schedule. Uh, as our roster grows, you know, the, the pro prospects will grow, and that's the venues they need to pitch in. You know, that's the, it gives them an opportunity to perform at, at a higher level. and. Um, We've got, like I mentioned earlier to Noah, like we, we've got some really high standards here. Um, so it's not like we're hoping to win those games. Like we're going to go in expecting to play well and expecting to have a chance to win at the end. Um, so um, what that will do is, is absolutely we feel like prepare us. So the better arms you see that are good arms, the better you're going to be prepared as you face better arms, right? So um, that's, that's just part of growth as a player. And I think our guys will be really, really excited about those opportunities early on. Yeah, I think we've got a confident bunch. Uh, I mean, they're excited. You know, I think there's the, you know, we had our first pitch dinner on Saturday night and, and we had a, a great crowd out. You know, we had over 220, I think 20, 225 people that came out just to, to show the support and the appreciation. You know, I, I can't express my gratitude enough as the head coach of just our support staff and the administration and, and what Zach Lasseter has done in a very, very short amount of time. And, um, you know, you start to add all those pieces up with some returners back. Um, there is a really healthy buzz, you know, right now with our team. So they're confident. They're ready. Um, I'm assuming they're ready to face someone else other than purple and white. You know, we had a really competitive fall, and we've had a really healthy preseason or competitive preseason. Um, so I'm sure they're ready to see some. We, we've got green and white coming down the first two weekends. So the uniform color is going to change here in, in, in about 11 days. Um, but, but I think our guys are excited about it.